Hello everyone. Happiest Health brings you to yet another inspiring story on resilience, where a 55-year-old brigadier made an astonishing comeback after a tragic accident that left him bedridden for months. Recently, he led a cycling expedition from Kanyakumari to New Delhi. Brigadier Charag himself is with us today to talk more about his inspiring journey. My name is Brigadier Narendra Charan. I am a serving army officer presently posted in Baroda and I look after the NCC activities of South Gujarat. For the last 12 years, I have been doing cycling. In 2018-19, I was posted in a small place called Ramgarh. This is near Rachi. It's about 35 kilometers from Rachi. So as a routine, I used to do a 100 kilometers ride once in a week, in addition to about four rides of about 50 to 60 kilometers. Uh, now on that particular day, uh, I had started very early in the morning, uh, to be precise, actually at 4.43. And uh, after about 32 kilometers of railway ride, I was on the outskirts of Rachi town. And this is far away from the known surroundings of my own town. And uh, I was alone. And that is where a speeding uh, Tata 407 mini truck, uh, it hit me from behind. Uh, the damages, in fact, uh, the uh, right leg at the shin bone level, actually it was uh, both bones were fractured completely. In fact, the foot had actually been lying by the side uh, as if it was detached. Uh, we also have the pelvis, all four bones had about 14 to 18 fractures. Uh, but the more serious injuries were actually the um, rupture of the large intestine, the small intestine and the urinary bladder. So for the first uh, uh, three days, the doctors weren't sure whether I'll be able to pull through. Eight to nine days, I was in a condition where they knew that I'll be able to eat well uh, and progress. Uh, so for the first about 22, 23 days, uh, I was actually lying straight on a bed like a log. I couldn't even turn uh, and by the uh, 32nd, 33rd day, the turning had actually started and at about 42, 43 days, that is the first time when I could be lifted and kept in a wheelchair. Like any other person who faced an accident of this kind, I also had a, a mental tough questions to my own self, uh, whether I will remain uh, like a cripple. Uh, I fought that and uh, the recovery process actually uh, started sometimes after about uh, two months because that's the time when I could start to take a little bit of uh, load on my uh, legs. But of course, uh, I was not able to put my uh, foot down. Most part of the physiotherapy actually I was doing uh, by my own self within the breaks. I would keep punching in the air. In fact, people would keep laughing at me, you know, uh, what have you been doing? But then uh, that is the way where I uh, kept myself fit. 117 days, so it's almost uh, four months later. That is the first time when I was allowed to set my foot on the ground. That too with the help of a walker. The second promise which I had made to myself and uh, to the doctors in fact, uh, was that I will cycle uh, exactly 365 days after the uh, accident. Uh, I was adequately strong to uh, uh, undertake cycling, but the biggest challenge was that uh, in the pelvis, uh, one of the bones had joined uh, teda uh, and that is the place where it used to touch the seat. Uh, so the biggest challenge was actually not the strength, uh, but uh, since this bone used to keep getting rubbed against the uh, saddle of the seat where I sit on, uh, after prolonged sitting actually I used to start bleeding in my groin, uh, lower part of the groin. Now this is the expedition which followed the western coastal route uh, from uh, uh, Kanyakumari. We went into Kerala, Kerala to Karnataka, then we came to Goa and from Goa instead of taking the western coastal route, we went inside crossing the Ghats. We came to Belgaum, from Belgaum, Satara uh, to Pune and then we entered into the state of uh, Gujarat. From Ahmedabad, we came towards Udaipur, that is Rajasthan, uh, Udaipur, Bhilwara, uh, Jaipur uh, and thereafter we came to Manesar in Haryana and then we skirted Delhi and came to Greater Noida and from Greater Noida thereafter uh, the expedition closes at Delhi.
I uh, do a lot of exercises and yoga to keep myself fit. I also play badminton and I keep myself very very uh, physically active. My my routine involves getting up very early in the morning and I am a uh, early to bed person. The route to recovery uh, is not through the scalpel of a doctor. Um, actually the route to recovery is through a mind. Uh, would be that have a plan chopped out in consultants with your uh, doctor and possibly your physiotherapist and work hard uh, you know to just leave everything to the physiotherapist is not the right answer in fact we have to keep exercising ourselves and keep uh, working hard thank you brigadier charag it was very inspiring to learn about your journey may you inspire many people in future thank you so much